Hey guys, welcome into your Eldoa position. What is Eldoa and what do you need to know? Real quick, it is a technique for stretching the fascia around your spine. Each pose targets a different part of your spine to alleviate compression. So yes, it can help to ward off any degeneration or compression of your discs. Now, when you do this pose in a second, follow the video, follow all the cues, and even after the video, hold the pose for 60 to 90 seconds. Because the more effort, the more contractions you give, the more you will get out of this stretch. And then when you're done, come out of it very slowly. Relax for 20 to 30 seconds after because they are pretty intense. Enjoy your pose. This is your L1, L2 position. So go ahead and sit on the floor. Straighten your legs out in front of you as best as you can, guys. Separate your legs into a straddle until you feel a strong stretch without being too uncomfortable. Then we're going to start to rotate both of our legs towards the center so our kneecaps will actually face each other. And yeah, we're going to start to feel maybe a little bit of a contraction in the hip rotators as you turn those legs inward. Now flex your toes up towards your nose. And again, turn and invert the feet towards each other to help out with both legs rotating inward. Then we're going to sit up real tall. We will retract our chin as if we're making a nice double chin. Then you're going to go ahead and raise both of your arms overhead with the elbows as straight as you can get them in line with your spine. Now bend your wrists back so the palm faces the ceiling and you are spreading your fingers out as wide as you can as the fingers flare out to the side like you're holding a plate of food. Keep those fingers really stretched out. Reach those palms up. Get long through your spine as if a string is pulling your spine to the ceiling. Keep your toes and your knees pointing towards each other. And that is the position. Go ahead and come out nice and slow.